Des O'Connor and Cal Vorderman one last time. Countdown is here from 3.25, right after we hear from the lady of the moment herself. Hard to believe, but it really is one last consonant, please, Carol. Hello, my name's Giles Brandreth, and over the past 26 years, I've had the privilege of being the most frequent visitor to Countdown's Dictionary Corner. Today, it's my privilege to welcome you to a slice of television history, as Countdown bids a fond farewell to the unique Carol Vorderman. This is a special program in which we're celebrating possibly the most seen woman on British television, Unless, of course, you count the long-haired girl who used to play noughts and crosses with the test card dummy. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be sums and chums all the way, and who knows, perhaps even a tear or three, as we look back at the clips, the quips, and probably, in my case, the hips of the first lady of numbers. So without further ado, please welcome the queen of calculation, the darling of division, the woman most men would love to multiply with. It's Carol Vorderman! <laughs> Carol. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> oh. You're looking beautiful. You are beautiful. I cannot believe those puns, Giles. Carol, you the first female face on Channel 4. Yes. Just listen to these statistics. 26 years, 4,750 shows. Is it? You've put 320,000 letters up on that board. <laughs> You've tackled approximately 11,200 numbers games and wait for it. You have heard the countdown clock music more than 57 thousand times. <laughs> Are you still sane? I'm not sure I am. Now you, now you tell me those numbers, I'm not sure I am. Is it really 57,000 times? Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Thank you. Do you ever dream it at night? Does it ever come through your head? You ever... <laughs> I think it wakes me up a few times. Yeah. Look, it is years, extraordinary. Anyway. And the statistics are amazing, because I remember the, one of the high points in, yes. back in February, I think it was 94, when in one week, 24 million people in the I UK know. tuned in to Countdown. Five million a night. <laughs> it was but it was amazing. It was amazing. And for many, many, many years, uh, Richard Whiteley, obviously, and I, um, we, just, um, we would get the ratings through, and we'd be the top five shows on Channel 4 week in week out and we just I go whiters have you seen this and you go <laughs> <laughs> we just laugh and it went on for year after year after year so it was wonderful when you were a little girl did you realize that this was going to be your destiny <laughs> no I wanted to be an air either an airline pilot or the first female prime minister oh well there's time there's there's time for both. Well, no, no, you can't be the first female. No, you could be the be. second female prime minister. Were you any good <laughs> at arithmetic as a little girl? I loved numbers. Numbers are always my friends. I had other friends as well, I hasten to add. But, uh, but I l always loved numbers from... Uh, I think I was probably about two or three. And um, I went, used to go to a little Catholic school in Rill, a state school, but it was Catholic. And my first teacher was called Sister Zita. She's a nun. And she used to put me at the back of the class and give me lots and lots of sums to do all the time. And I'd just go, and always did it against the clock, even at that age, Goodness. three. Yeah. My God. Well, you look as if you've come dressed for your first communion. It's a charming <laughs> outfit, if I may say so. But you know, you wouldn't be here, I know this, if you had been left to your own devices. No. You are here because of an important woman in your life, oh, and in yes. all our lives. Yes. This is well documented. Is it true that it was your mum who actually wrote in? It is absolutely true, yes, in 1982. She wrote the letter of application, yeah. My, and, and, and is it true that she actually forged your... But well, I don't know why I'm asking you. I'm <laughs> going to bring her the magic of television. <laughs> we have flown her across the world. <laughs> <laughs> We, we, she got on the bus and she's here. <laughs> Would you please welcome Carol's mum, Jean Vorder. Hey. <laughs> and who are these beautiful people oh, with her? Yeah. <laughs> well, who are these is, two? This is Katie, my daughter, who's 16. 
And Cameron, my son, who's 11. Hey, look, you two, I knew you when you were bumps. <laughs> Yes, um, and they, they both appeared for nine months on Countdown each. Prenatal <laughs> TV, you were famous <laughs> before you arrived. They're yeah, a credit they to you, yeah, actually. Well done, lovely to see on. you. Have a little pew. Yeah, <laughs> and actually, they're a credit to, to your mum, because I know often when you've been in Leeds recording Countdown, yeah. the kids have been in very well, safe Well, we've always hands. lived together, haven't we? Yes, we have, yes. yes. Now, yes. is it true, Jean, that you really wrote the letter? Why did you write the letter? How did you write the letter? Actually, I typed it in work secretly. Oh. But, you know, because I didn't have a typewriter at home. And, um, I, and then, because we'd seen the thing in the Yorkshire Evening Post that they couldn't get a girl to do the numbers, the sums, and I said, oh, you should write in for this, because they'd had about 3,000 applications and couldn't get anybody to do the sums. So she said, oh, I, I, can't, I know nothing about television. But I said, the others didn't either, so I, I did it at work. <laughs> and I sent her her photograph, and I, I did forge her signature. It did? You forged enough. a signature. Yeah, I forged a signature. It was good enough. It passed for yeah, a real. So you. this is the culmination yeah. of yes. a 26-year yes. deception. Yes, it is, actually. Yes. yes. Yeah, I and mean, the men in yes. white coats are waiting for me, <laughs> but the boys in blue are waiting for you. Yes, please. So you forged a signature. What do you mean, yes, please? <laughs> and has yes. it changed your life? Yes. Oh, yes, it has, really. Changed the pattern of my life, yes. yes. But let, let me take you back <laughs> yes. to that first day. It yes. was November the 2nd, 1982. Yeah. It was your debut, the first female face on, on Channel, Channel 4, 4. Yeah. Carol Vorderman. Let us take a look at your performance that day. Meet our vital statistician, Carol Vorderman. She's a mm. Cambridge graduate and she works in computers. Well, that was only seven out, but there was a way of actually getting 493. And that was by adding the six and the one to give seven, and then multiplying by seven, yeah. the seven in the numbers to give 49. Then taking that 49 and multiplying by 10 <laughs> gives us 490, and finally, Adding the 3 to the 490 gives us our total of 493. <coughs> the question is, how did this programme survive? Well, it survived because of the lady next to me. Yes, because you weren't alone. No. Yours was the first female face. The second female face was the girl who, in those days, yeah. used to actually say... Con well, we used to say consonant, please, Kathy. Exactly. In the days. And here she is, ladies and gentlemen, Kathy Heitner, hey! our first letters lady. <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you remember of those first programmes, Kathy? Um, I remember the audiences, the studio audiences <laughs> that we used to have to bus in. Well, nobody really knew no. what Countdown was in no, those days, you no. see. So it was. Um... And there used to be ladies sitting on the front row saying, What did he say? Oh, it's bloody yeah. rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> I, <like> that. <laughs> I remember people who thought they'd come to a live recording of Emmerdale. <laughs> uh, totally confused they were, but you looked beautiful and you did these it letters and it was fantastic. And were, you, friend, were you friends then or were you rivals? Was it, what I really want to ask is, was it a family from when I first arrived? There were people like Ted Melton, Kenneth Williams, and Dictionary Corner. Yes. Corn. yes. And was it, as soon as I arrived, I felt this is a family. And was it really like that, right from the I beginning? I used to stay with Carol and Jean. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, we lived we in Nice. Mum together. and I lived in Nice. And Kathy, she was a foreigner. She was from Manchester. Yeah. So uh, when she came over, she used to stay with us. Yeah. Well, of <laughs> course, I have been lucky enough to be in Dictionary Corner a lot of well, times. Well, you uh, first came into these studios in 1982. Mm. And you've been on nearly 300 times. That's amazing. Yeah, so you've heard that music quite I've a few I've heard the music heard. quite a few times. And I remember with great affection some of the people from Dictionary Corner in the early days. People like Ted Moult, people yes. like Kenneth Williams, Absolutely. Russell Harty. Absolutely. All Hardy. Yeah, lovely people. Who used to teach Richard. At who Giggles. taught Richard Whiteley at Giggleswick School. Bill Tidy. Bill Tidy, Tidy wonderful Bill people. Tidy. And some of them sadly mm. no longer with us. But some are yes. still with us. Let me give you a flavour, if I may, of some of the extraordinary guests who have made a unique contribution to Dictionary Corner here on Countdown. Oh,